Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be going through the products that I've been loving for the month of May. I feel like as I get older, time goes so much faster. The school year is almost over. My kids will be home all summer. So exciting and a little bit um, exhausting just thinking about it at the same time. But if you guys would like to see what I've been loving this month, then just keep watching. Okay, first I want to start off with a non-beauty item. It is a food item that I discovered this, was that this month? I think it was. It was during Teacher Appreciation Week. My husband was gifted this item and he gave me one to try. And I said, hands down, this is the best caramel, caramel, however you say it, I have ever had. And it was from Hope's Caramels, which are available on Etsy, if you're not local to my area. They are delicious. They are soft. They have like a little bit of like a bourbon-y flavor because the vanilla bean is soaked in alcohol and that's what they're, they use to get like the strong, the strong vanilla taste. I think these are delicious. Vanilla is my favorite. I've also tried sea salt. I think they also have like a coffee flavor, a blood orange flavor, but they are so good. A bag about this size is like 12 or $13. And I think a bag this size is about $8. Um, they're sold in my area. I don't want to say specifically, but they are sold around here in Southeastern Pennsylvania, um, and on Etsy. So I will leave her shop link down below so that if you guys would like to try the best soft caramels ever, you can get your hands on them, but they are so good. The only downside is that they're only good for like a month or so. So they have to be eaten up quickly. So this little bag has to be done in the next two weeks, which I think I can handle that. All right, so that was it for the non-beauty items. Now let's move on to beauty items. The first one is one that I only got two weeks ago, but I am already obsessed with it. It is the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. This is the bronzing product I have on my face today. I have no other bronzer on my face. You can kind of see along the perimeter, it's just like this golden glow. Very natural, not glittery, not shimmery, just like sun-kissed, healthy skin. And they're like a little dropper. I'm just a big fan. I apply them as a bronzer. I don't mix them in with my skincare, which I might start doing in the future, but I really love this. I'm gonna be running through it very quickly. So I might have to buy another one. <laughs> a lip product I've gotten back into using this month is this one from L'Oreal. This is the Color Riche Matte Sharpenable Lip Liner. And this one is in the shade 110 Matte's It. It's a really, really pretty, like, mauve nude color. I have it on my lips under a plumping gloss, and I just love it. It's like a, I want to say, like, a slightly cool tone neutral lip color. So when I'm wearing more, like, purple tone browns or just cool tone browns, it just matches really well. So I've been loving this, and I don't even know if they make this anymore. I hope they do, but I've had it for a while. I just keep sharpening it, and... I'm gonna use it down to a stump, I'm sure. An eye topper that I've been loving is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. This one's in the shade Ray. This reminds me a lot of the little shadows that used to come like this from L'Oreal. They were like super shimmery, almost glittery, and they kind of felt wet, but they applied like a glitter. I don't know, they're really awesome. They're still available, but this one is beautiful. It is like a brown bronzy shade with lots of white and silver glitter in it. And I just love to kind of dust this all over the lids, apply some mascara, and you have a beautiful sparkly eye look in like a second. Really easy. So I really like this one. Um, I know that they are pricey, but some of their products are just so good. Next, I want to give my favorite blush another mention. This is the Neutrogena Cheeky Wink Flushed Blush. I still am totally obsessed with this like bouncy blush. I don't know what it is about this shade, but it is so flattering no matter what my hair color is. When I was a blonde, beautiful. Auburn, beautiful. Now that it's washing out, it's more of like a light brown shade. Still beautiful. This shade is so, so flattering. If you have my skin tone or my like undertones, you have to try this blush. I believe it's only available at Walmart. I love it. I mean, mine is gross and disgusting because I use it all the time and it used to be a mound. The mound is gone. So um, now it's actually starting to become like a divot. So <laughs> good thing I have a backup, but the color is just so beautiful. It's just like this very, very slight sheen. It always looks beautiful. It always looks like I have something on my cheekbones. 
but I don't have highlight on when I wear this. I just wear this and it's just so beautiful. Oh, it's probably my favorite blush like three years in a row now. And I own quite a lot of blushes, so that says a lot. Sunscreen. This one. This is the Replenix Sun Care. It's the Tinted Mattifying Face Sunscreen with an SPF of 30. I don't know if I mentioned this one last month or not, but I love this one. A lot of tinted sunscreens for me are too dark. This one, while it looks dark in the pan, as you're blending it out, it is my skin tone. Um, so I think it's great. I like that it is mattifying. I like that. See, it even looks dark on my hand, but I promise you it is not dark once you blend it out on the skin. It, I don't know. It, it's matte. It gives me just enough coverage that I would be comfortable wearing this and going out. Like if I was having a day at the beach, a day on the boardwalk, a day on the trails, I would feel covered up enough. And I know that I have sunscreen and I know that I'm not going to be oily. So I really like this. I think this is the best tinted sunscreen product I have used so far. Okay, this has been a month for bronzing. I already mentioned the bronzy drops. I have one, two, three, four, five other bronzing products. <laughs> so let's jump right in. The Merrill Norman Bronzing Duo. This is the matte one. This one also has quite a large divot and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's two shades. There's like a, a lighter one and a deeper one, a warmer one and a cooler one. So you can use a deeper one for your contour. You can mix them together for bronzing and like adding a little depth to your skin. I love this one. I've been reaching for it over and over and over. And it's a really fantastic product. And I don't think this brand gets a whole lot of attention online, but I feel like it should. Next up are two bronzers that I pulled back out of my collection. These are the Bare Mineral Invisible Bronze Bronzers. And I have tan and fair to light. So fair to light looks like this. So it still shows up on my pale days. But when I want something a little bit more intense, I reach for tan, which is just a little bit more cool tone. Like they're both, they're both not dark products and they both can be sheared out. But it's like when I want a little bit more warmth, I use the lighter one. And when I want a bit more cool tone, I'll use tan. I will use tan along the perimeter as more of my bronzer. I don't know. I just, I just love the two of these together. They both have like a slight sheen without being glittery. They're just so pretty. I don't know if they still exist. I think I got both of these at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but they're a really, really beautiful, like hint of a sheen, blendable, buildable bronzer. Just a really, really beautiful baked formula. So love these this month. Another item that I pulled back out of my collection is the Tardis Pro Glow palette. And I just think this is called the Pro Glow, like the original. So one that opens up like this and you have your cream bronzer on the bottom, your powder bronzer, and then a bunch of highlights. I generally don't reach for any of the highlights. I use this cream, cream bronzer right here or cream contour, I should say. It's a very cool tone, blends beautifully. The whole palette still smells like vanilla, just like it did when it was just opened. I don't know. I love this. I love to use this as my base and then this for setting it on top. Occasionally I'll reach for like one of these to do like in the inner corner. They are really pretty. I just rarely reach for like blinding highlights anymore. I'm mostly like a blush and bronze girl nowadays, but this is a beautiful palette. I just wish they would make that cream bronzer all by itself because it's really fantastic. Another cream bronze product that I've been using a lot this month is from Salt New York. You guys have probably seen Salt New York's videos on my channel. There are three, I think I have like, I wanna say it's light and medium and then the contour shade, I think that's what they're called. This one's light medium. What's this one? So we have light, light medium and contour, okay. So contour, light, and light medium. I love these. I think they go on so well. They're buildable. I mean, they're super, super creamy. I'm not sure if you guys can see them here. Super creamy right here. I love to use these and then I'll just top them with one of my blushes, a little dose of shimmer from these over here. They're just really, really pretty. They're very easy to use. I really enjoy the palette they come in. 
Sometimes I'll go over here and my other blushes and I love these orangey shades like the coral and this one, which I think is terracotta. Beautiful. I love spice for in the winter. Really, really nice formula and very buildable. Great color payoff. So I've been reaching for them a lot this month as well. I've been really enjoying like building products up, building cream products up and then lightly dusting my face with a powder and it just kind of all stays all day long. It seems to wear a lot longer than just powder products for me. Next up, a little shadow, shadow product. It's this little Kaja Bento. This is in number eight, Chocolate Dahlia. While this isn't my favorite shimmer shade because of fallout, the glitter bits kind of fall onto my face throughout the day. So I don't find that it lasts all day. Even when I use a glitter primer, they still kind of flake to my face. So I mostly like these two shades because I can get an entire look done with just this little tiny, little tiny trio and there's a mirror in it. So like you can toss this in your bag and you're good to go. So I really like this and I like the shades that come in it. I just wish that the top product was either a cream product or something that had a little bit more hold, a little bit more grip to it. But I think it's a really nice, fast, easy shadow product. Speaking of the eyes, I've been really enjoying the Highbrow Duo Pencil from Benefit. I don't really use the shimmery champagne shade. It just isn't as bright as I want like my inner corner to be. But this pink shade right here, I love putting this in the waterline like I did today just to brighten up the eyes, make me look more awake, which is always nice, you know, mama four. You get kind of worn out sometimes, so it's nice to at least look awake sometimes. So this is a really nice product and I feel like it'll take me a while to run through this because I think it goes all the way to here. So great product from Benefit. And finally, a palette that I discovered this month is the Wander Beauty Wondrous Escape Palette. It looks like this and it's really pretty like I, it's surprisingly pretty i can just use these two matte shades for a pretty look i can use these two for a nice look i can even use these three for a beautiful look if i want a pop of color sometimes i'll do gold and blue on the lid and then some dark brown on the outer corner like there's just a lot of options with this you have your more camely tones you have your more reddish browns you have mauves you have tans gold purples and blues kind of a nice range of colors. So I think this has been really fun to play with. Sometimes I'll just do all matte. Sometimes I'll just do a wash of shimmer. Sometimes I blend the two together. Really great formula and I've been really enjoying it. And there are a handful of other products that I've been loving this month, but the dedicated videos are not yet live on my channel. So I have to save them for later, but there are some really good things coming that I can't wait to share with you guys. But as mentioned, my favorites videos are always filmed live. So I film them like a week before the end of the month. So this is what I currently look like end of May. Haven't gone back to blonde yet, but I'm hoping to do so in the next couple of months. I definitely miss it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. Let me know what you've been loving down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.